Hi, welcome to the video. This is a warning that there are probably some opinions within this video that you might not necessarily agree with, and it's also a warning that if you type a hate-filled comment towards my channel, I really won't care. Enjoy the video. What's going on guys, Sam Adams here, and there are no specific release dates within this video. I cannot make that clear enough, and I don't want to waste anyone's time that is just here trying to figure out when Mass Effect Andromeda Titanfall 2 or the next Battlefield are actually going to come out, as in what day of the year they are going to come out. I don't know, it hasn't been announced yet, we can only really predict at this point. What is within this video is a discussion talking about an announcement made by EA this past week that Mass Effect Andromeda Titanfall 2 and whatever the next Battlefield is going to be will all be out before March. 2017 and that last one the next battlefield is actually going to be out before Christmas that's a pretty big pair of shoes to fill if you ask me and it's very interesting that they're announcing this kind of thing this early on so of course with Titanfall 2 we all pretty much know how this is going to go Titanfall was a pretty big success on the Xbox one it was one of the earlier titles on the console and it was also on the Xbox 360 as well as the PC and it was pretty well reviewed uh, of course there wasn't really a story to it or there wasn't much of one anyway even though there definitely should have been there's so much you can do with Titanfall that it was very disappointing to see that respawn didn't really take the initiative and uh, make a big story out of it but the gameplay was very fun I actually have it on the Xbox one right now it's downloaded and I I do play it uh, probably about once a month or so. It is a very fun experience and I would recommend checking it out because it is about five bucks at this point. Um, but going forward, Titanfall 2 is supposed to be on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PC, which is a great move and it's going to be awesome to see that one come out, especially since it is going to be coming out before March of 2017. Now with Mass Effect Andromeda, a ton of people are looking forward to this game and I personally think that that is awesome. Uh, I just personally am not that big into Mass Effect. I never really got into the franchise. I played a little bit of Mass Effect 1, I played some of Mass Effect 2, I played a little bit of Mass Effect 3, I just never really got into the games. And uh, you know, that's totally okay in my book. Some people don't like first person shooters, some people don't like strategy games, some people don't like Call of Duty, some people don't like um, uh, Grand Theft Auto, just throwing that out there. Uh, but and I'm just one of the people that doesn't like Mass Effect and that's totally okay uh, But for a lot of fans this announcement that is going to be before March of 2017 Was a pretty awesome confirmation that the game they've been looking forward to for so many years is finally coming out Because if I remember correctly the ending of Mass Effect 3 even after they fixed it was not that fulfilling to many people So it's going to be awesome to see the franchise kind of get a new reboot because if I understand correctly At the end of Mass Effect 3 this might be a spoiler thing like I said I never made it to the end of it but I do kind of keep up with these things so spoilers if you want to leave now you can um if I understand correctly the entire earth is destroyed like that's just kind of what I gather from it of course I might be wrong about this but Andromeda is kind of taking a, a different galaxy's perspective so to speak on the Mass Effect universe so it's kind of a fresh start for the entire thing at least that's kind of my understanding of it so it's going to be awesome to see this game come out between now and March of 2017 so that maybe even new uh, players that want to get in on the franchise and might want to try out the elements that that franchise has to offer they might be able to jump in right here and not really have miss that much. Now the last one is the one that interests me the most and that is Battlefield 5 or whatever it might be. Uh, I'm a huge Battlefield fan. I really enjoy the franchise and I think that they do a lot of things right whenever it comes to a first person shooter because there is some tactical ability involved. There's also some just running and gunning involved. I love the vehicles. I love the air vehicles. I love everything that EA has done with Battlefield up until this point and I do have faith that they're going to do well going forward but let's talk about Battlefield Hardline for a minute and what the problem was with that game. There wasn't enough difference between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline to satisfy that need for a lot of gamers, including myself. I got into two different betas of Battlefield Hardline and both felt like very good games. And whenever I bought the final release version of the game, it was pretty much the exact same thing that was in the beta. Not much had changed except for some um, balance. And it was still a fun game, but it just felt like a DLC pack for Battlefield 4. And that turned a lot of people off from it. And of course, EA kind of hasn't pushed the game as much as they probably would have had it been successful obviously they still have community missions and stuff for Battlefield 4 as well as Battlefield Hardline but it seems like they focus primarily on 4 rather than their newest game just because a lot more people stuck with 4 than they did switching over to Battlefield Hardline so comparing apples to apples leaving Battlefield Hardline out of it comparing Battlefield 4 to Battlefield 5 or whatever the next one is going to be what are some of the things that I would like to see uh, first and foremost a complete and total departure from the modern warfare style of things 
I would love to see Battlefield 1943 come and be a thing on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One because I think that a World War II game is long overdue. It's something that has had time to kind of settle down. Uh, obviously, we had Call of Duty World at War, we had Battlefield 1942, uh, and we had the Vietnam era stuff that's kind of a uh, completely and totally different world in general. But I would love to see a World War II game and kind of take it back to that level of technology and simplify shooter games. I hope that they don't continue to go into the future uh, unless it is going to be Battlefield Battlefield 2143, I believe, is what the year is. Um, that would be interesting. I really want it to either go back to World War II or go into the deep, deep future, like past Black Ops 3. I want to see some cyber warfare, so to speak. That's kind of one way that I would like to see Battlefield 5 go. Uh, if they do tend to stick with the modern warfare kind of things, then I would like to see a better story because Battlefield 4, it did have a story. It did have something that was somewhat emotionally engaging, but Battlefield has traditionally been a franchise that has lacked some engagement in the story side of things, and I do think it is high time for that to change. Now, wherever the game does take place in whatever country or whatever time frame, I do hope that it sticks to what Battlefield does right, and that for me is map design. I love the way that Battlefield designs its maps. Uh, because there are different kinds of foliage where you can hide in the trees. You can actually uh, get on top of buildings. There are different kinds of uh, levels. It's almost like a vertical kind of gameplay. I know that term is thrown around a lot in the industry, but that's something I would love to see is just that continued love and uh, detail put into the map design of the game. That's what really sets Battlefield apart of uh, Call of Duty and even some other shooters like Medal of Honor. That always put it a step above for me, and I do hope to continue to see that in the future, and I guarantee you that we will. What it comes down to is the EA is going to be pushing out a lot of awesome games over the course of the next 12 months. Uh, now, as far as what games are going to come out when in regards to these three games that we've talked about, I have to say that with the inclusion of January, February, and March of 2017, I'm going to go ahead and predict that that is whenever Titanfall 2 will make its debut because of the success of Battlefield 5, which is inevitable. And since it is supposed to come out before Christmas, I don't think that they would want to uh, go ahead and push Titanfall 2 uh, to be right before Battlefield five or right after battlefield five uh for fear that the success of these two similar kind of games are going to trample on each other you know what i'm saying and uh so if i had to guess in order i would say that mass effect andromeda i could see it coming out easily between june and august of this year uh, i could definitely see that happening uh battlefield is obviously going to be alongside call of duty probably late october early november uh, at the latest the first week of december for it to get on the shelves for the christmas rush so with those two games in line i could easily see titanfall being a late January, early February, maybe even the 1st of March, kind of like whenever um, next year, whenever Uncharted 4 will have been out for a year, probably around March 5th, 2017, uh, if I wanted to go ahead and throw some predictions out there, that's when I can definitely see Titanfall 2 coming out. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and comment when you think these games are going to come out and which of these games you're most excited for. Have you heard a lot about Titanfall 2? Did you play the original Titanfall? Do you love Mass Effect or are you a huge fan of Battlefield? Let me know in the comments section down below and if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other content, I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week. So there's always something new right here on the channel when you drop by to watch some videos. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.